Good morning, got to be quiet. Just waiting for a taxi to go and drop me off at the station so I can get on a train and go to a different place. But I was going to skate this morning, but my bag is just so heavy, like so heavy. <laughs> I a day trip out, I was going to meet one of my friends, but they are busy, so I didn't want to cancel it. And I thought, yes, what I'll do is I go to Edinburgh and I hit all of the different coffee spots. So my goal is the next two days to hit possibly six or seven different coffee spots and go to the gym and experience my first stay in a hostel. So I'll take you guys with me every step of the way. Let's go. So I would be straight up lying if I didn't say that this place, Edinburgh as a place, does hold some very nostalgic memories for me. I used to date a girl that lived in Edinburgh, so I've been up here about three or four times. Love the sea. Other than Leeds, this is my other favourite sea. I actually applied for uni here to do my events management degree because I love it so much. I would move here like that. So it should be a very good two days. Right now, I'm on the first hunt for coffee and it's at a place called The Milkman. So let's go and check out The Milkman. Okay, I think I found it just around this corner. The Milkman, that's the first stop. Love Edinburgh already. Since walking down the street, it's literally, Waverley Station is just on the other side of this wall here. Walking down the street, I've already found three different Coffee shops. There's one over there as well, across the road. So should be a very highly caffeinated couple of days. Hey you! Absolutely insane. Tried for the first time an oat, oat milk flat white, and it was the whole place, whole place in general. The milk, the milkman shop was just, it was just beautiful. Stuff were nice, place was nice. The drink itself was beautiful. I think in future I'm gonna try and get like oat or soy or almond milk into my coffees to make it better. Hungry, so I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's and then to another cafe which is called the Brew Lab. And again, very, very good things about the brew lad. Apparently it's down this street, which is a mad, busy street. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Edinburgh, you feel like a foreign country right now. It's so hot. So many people are tourists. Me, it actually feels like I'm in somewhere like Spain or somewhere in Europe. Just wow. <laughs> Okay, so a quick pit stop before I go to the brew lab. Went to Sainsbury's, picked up no Tesco's, 
I picked up a meal deal, so I've got tikka chicken and mango chutney with no mayo, a bag of fruit, and then I wanted to get some Krispy Kreme donuts, but I would send me over my fat because I don't know of all the coffee that I'm going to drink today. It's going to be quite high fat because the milk's going to be quite high fatty, I think. Anyway, so I've got pancakes instead. I'm going to nail six of these pancakes. Then head over to the brew lab, get some more coffee. Oh, I got a sugar-free Red Bull for the gym when I'm hitting legs. Oh, all in all, good day so far. A lot of people look at me with this camera. So I'm now in, I think it's Edinburgh University like garden bit. Just sat on the grass, chilling. I'm gonna eat this and then head over to the brew lab. First cup of coffee of the day was amazing. Absolutely. Just, yeah. I hope that the next one's gonna be just like that. Now onwards to more caffeine. Heading to the brew lab now. I think it's this way. Unless I can't be too sure, the roads are so like old and narrow and beautiful, but I think a little maze around here. Honestly, I get lost. Whoa. I think I see it. I think I see it. about five different cities pretty yeah pretty lucky with that we're gonna hit the gym eat some more pancakes hit the gym and then we'll see what we've got planned for later on i could walk around the city for absolute hours and hours and hours Guessing the big sign saying the gym is where it's at. Okay, and that is that. So I think that's my adventures, my coffee adventures over for today. Because went to the gym, did legs, did cardio, sweated it out, I feel knackered. Couldn't even speak to tell you guys that I went to a place called Black Medicine Coffee Shop. it was massive inside upstairs and downstairs seating uh, again an oat flat white because that's my new favorite drink but i just feel absolutely f***ed. i'm not gonna lie caffeine too much caffeine is making me tired now this backpack is too heavy so i'm gonna go over and find my hostel check myself in and chill out there for a little bit and then back out for a i want to go hunt for a perfect sunset and get some photos and some videos of the sunset so let's go and check this hostel out i think i'm gonna go and eat my food on these steps over here yo google map sort yourself out i've just been around and around the city like 15 times it's taking me like 45 minutes to get an eight minute walk so yeah google map sort it out please And back up the freaking hill we go. I went down the wrong way.
light is fading super, super fast. Maybe you can see the line up there. But I'm trying to get the sunset, but I feel like I've left it too late. Let's hope I can get there quick time. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna miss it, but I didn't. Got quite, a, whew, got quite a while left yet, so I'll just wait out here. Whew, Jesus Christ, look at it. Can't even see it. I actually made it. I thought I was gonna die up them steps, not gonna lie. But it is a beautiful view from here. Probably miles better than the castle. So I'm gonna, I've got my 70 to 300 mil with me. I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna focus on capturing this sunset. Well, after all that, I made it. It's pretty good that. I'll try and put some photos on the screen now. A little mission, a little sunset mission. Trying out new things, trying out new lens. So they should turn out well. Okay, a quick update for you guys, because there's a lot of people around. It's making me pretty nervous. Yeah, I spent a couple of hours back at the hostel getting used to it. Still a little bit weird, uh, that many people sharing, but they all seem really, really nice. The facilities are amazing. I'll film more of that tomorrow. Uh, so I stayed there, had a couple of coffees for free because they offer it there, and then came out, and as you saw, tried to chase a sunset, which I did successfully. And yeah, now I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit, I think. Yeah, and then head back, probably, I don't know, chill, read a little bit, and then go to bed, because I'm absolutely exhausted. It's been a busy day, it's been a really, really nice, relaxing day. Just getting out of here by myself, out of Blackpool, into a city where there's different cultures, different languages going on, being able to vlog, and trying to get overcome vlogging in, in public, which is still very nerve wracking. I still can't get used to it, but I'll try. Checked out three coffee places today. I'm gonna check out maybe three tomorrow, and then that'll be it. And I'll do a video on the coffee shops in in Edinburgh. Apart from that, I hope you've liked the vlog, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna sit here and just take it all in, because no photos or videos can can justify this at all. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.